Okay, so I had this idea that I could paint a book cover, like the cover of one of my favorite books, and then I could hang it on this wall since I don't have my bookshelves with me. So that's what I'm going to try to do today and hopefully it will turn out well. Okay, so I have my canvas. I have my easel and it's full of paints and brushes. But before I do this, I thought I would show you that I do know a little bit how to paint. So here is something I painted. I don't know why it's still up in April. I painted it for Thanksgiving, so I need to take it down. I did not paint it on my own, like with my own idea. I painted it copying. So usually I'm a copier, not a creator. <laughs> I can't make my own painting designs, but I do like to copy things. So now that I know, you know, that this is what I'm gonna do, I have to figure out what I'm gonna paint. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is figure out what book cover I want to paint and really figure out if I actually can paint it and then I'll get started. Okay, this is gonna work. So I am going to first try to find a book cover that I can actually paint. I know I want to paint dark matter, dark matter, but I don't think I can make the font. I, the hardest thing for me is writing, like writing letters. So I'm going to go to Goodreads and I'm going to try to find a book cover to paint. So what I'm doing is I'm going to Goodreads and I'm just going to look at the books that I've read and try to find some covers that I feel like I can actually paint on my little canvas and it has to be a book that I would like I would want to paint not just something I can paint <sighs> hmm. okay I actually think I could paint 1984 because that's not too hard um, but it's not like I love that book or anything okay this might be harder than I anticipated <laughs> right so let's see, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm either going to paint Cinder, Dark Matter, Ready Player One, The Girl on the Train, and Then There Were None, Recursion, Illuminate, The Wild Robot, The Invisible Man, To Kill a Mockingbird, We Dream of Space, Eleanor and Park, or 1984. I'll have to make a decision and then I'll let you know. Okay, I think I've made my decision. I wanted to paint something that wasn't too easy, but also wasn't too hard since this is my first video and it needs to be somewhat entertaining, but not stupid hard. So I'm gonna paint this book cover of To Kill a Mockingbird and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I have this, this is where I'm gonna put my paints and it looks like I need black, I need a darkish red, I need a creamy green color. So I only have this green and then like a neon green, so I'm going to add white to that one. And then I need white. Water cup for washing my brushes. Paper towel to dry the brushes. All right, so this is where we just start. So, okay. So I'm looking at To Kill a Mockingbird, and the first thing I'm gonna do Ew, it's goopy as heck. So goopy, you guys. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, here's the question. Instead of having to go buy black, can I make it? <laughs> Let's see if I can make black. I don't want to go to the store. So it makes me kind of wonder, like, how long is paint good for? All right. So... Right now this just looks green. What about red? Would red make it black? How do you make black? I thought like all the colors made black. All right, okay. This color is gray. No, it still looks gray. How dark does it look on my canvas? Let's see. It looks brown. Okay, wait, I have some black from this like painting kit someone bought me. We can keep going, guys. So with that, like I said, I'm gonna be painting the, I think probably to about, about right there on the canvas. 
black. Side note, I've heard it's a good idea to get your canvas wet before you paint on it. I'm getting mine a little too wet and with dirty water, but it's really fine. Like, it's gonna be okay. Thing. I promised to take your dead from you. Okay, so I have painted the top. I have to do another layer um, and I could blow dry it, but that's like, I don't feel like doing that. Okay, that's as hard as I'm gonna try <laughs> to make that straight. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is paint the red. Okay, so I'm looking at my painting. Here's where I'm at. And I'm realizing that the black should probably go down a little bit farther, but I'm not redoing that. <laughs> so uh, it's just gonna stay that way. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit longer. So I guess while I'm letting it dry, I should start trying to make the green color of the leaves on the tree. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna need to use my pencil to outline where I think the tree branches should go. And then adding those little green leaves is going to be really, really easy. So that's not a problem. So like I said, I'm gonna let this dry, but I'm also, I need to make the green color. So I'm gonna use this green and then this white, and it needs to look minty. So that's the goal. And actually I already have some green and white on the palette from when I was seeing if those colors were also all rubbery. But I already have a little bit of green and white there, so I'm gonna combine that and then see if that makes like that minty color. Look! This is looking minty, 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 mintier than ever. How wet is this still? I might go get the blow dryer. I wasn't going to, but I've got stuff to do today. Like I don't have all day to be painting this picture. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the blow dryer. Okay, I have my blow dryer. I'm using the Pro Beauty Tools. I just feel like that's what beauty YouTubers do. They're like, it's the pro. So now that I've done that and I have the like, the green color, I need to stencil out where the tree is gonna be. So I'm, I'm basically, I'm gonna look at uh, the way that the tree is on the cover. So I'm gonna stencil the tree to be right here off the side and then kind of branching in. So I know it needs to come up and kind of hit the edge here. Ooh, this is not. I hate having to push that hard because then it's like, well, I can't undo it now. This is what I have so far. I don't know if you guys can see, oh gosh, the stencil. I have like part of the tree there. It's hard to see, sorry, it's just pencil. So I don't know, I'm stenciling it in. Here's a bit of a branch and then I've left a space open for me to bring the branches out.
Okay, so this is, <laughs> that doesn't look good. <laughs> okay, well anyway, that, that's what I, so I ended up darkening it in Sharpie because uh, it's, it was like really hard for me to see the pencil markings when I put it on the, the canvas. So, or I'm sorry, on the easel. So now I have that, so I'm gonna fill it in all the way with black um, and then I'll start putting the little, the little green leaves around it. Okay, that's the best I can do with that. And so now, just like I thought, the green paint dried a little bit. That's okay, I have a lot of that. So now I'm gonna add the leaves. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, I thought I was recording, but I might not have been. So I put in the leaves, but I messed up because there's, it's just too low. I also have to make a little bit more um, leaves over here this way yeah I don't know I thought I was recording while I was making these leaves but maybe I wasn't <sighs> okay it's I'm really bummed with myself that I let this go so low but there's nothing I can do about it now so now I have to trace out to kill a mark mockingbird oh I have to finish painting that bottom part black Okay, so I'm back to having to trace. So I'm gonna take my pencil again. Oops, it's a little wet. And uh, basically going to try to mimic this font as much as I can. Um, though I really won't be able to, so it's not gonna look exactly the same, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, this is mostly dry. Okay, so my friend Emily, she says to use a ruler when doing this, but I don't have a ruler, so. I'm gonna eyeball it. Maybe I'll write Mockingbird first. Okay. Ugh, I'm not good at lettering. This stresses me out. Okay, whatever. Here's my M. Can you see it? Right there. So 
so. Oh my gosh, like already I feel like it's too far to look. Mock, I have to put Ingbird. I-N-G-B-I-R-D. Yeah. I don't know, I'm trying to make it work. Okay. Got Mockingbird written. It's not horrible. So I have to write to kill a. Okay, actually it really, I mean, it could look so much worse. It does not look that bad. It doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't look that bad. So first I need that bluish green color again. That is the color of the first words. And sometimes, you know, it helps to add water. So I wonder if I should just add some water to it because it makes it a little bit thinner and it makes it go on smoother rather than like clumpy.
Okay, the D is definitely the worst letter because obviously I like, I just got really tired. I was like, finish, finish, finish. So there, to kill a mockingbird. The D doesn't look so good. And then I have to see that tiny little white mark there. Gotta paint over that. Okay, so I have to write a novel by Harper Lee. I just finished. Okay, so I finished. Here is my painting. And then actually, I'll move over. So here's my painting. And then I'll put a painting, like the actual book cover so you can compare. Obviously mine goes down a little too far. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it's okay. But I'm excited and I think I will make more videos like this, so. Let me know if you like this. Subscribe or give a like if you liked this video. And uh, maybe you can paint it too. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys later and I hope you find something you want to read soon. Bye.